Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. Uh, welcome back at my home. I hope you are doing well at your home as well. As the title of the video says, it's gonna be everything I can say about the Tango 2 in three minutes. The reason why I'm doing such a short format is uh, because you probably know that this controller was released in February this year and everybody has already done a review about it. So what are we doing today? We are um, trying to do a community based video. It's just I want to give you my quick opinion about it, like if you were asking a friend about it. The genuine feedback I have on how it looks, um, the specs that are important to me and um, my feedback. And hopefully in the comments you can give me your opinion on it. Uh, if you have any questions about it I will answer in the comments. Just feel free, you know, to share your view on it in the comments and then it's gonna be a little bit different than what everybody else did about this controller before. So, uh, three minutes. Uh, I'm gonna try to stick to it. Let's get the timer going. So I said, first thing first, we're gonna talk about, uh, you know, how it looks. You've probably have seen it already because it's been in different Instagram posts and on TBS website page, everything. If you're a little bit invested in the community, you probably haven't missed it. First thing, everyone knows the foldable antenna. So it folds this way, but also you can pivot it and then it serves as a stand for your controller. My controller is mode one. I changed it myself which I found very easy to uh, do once I knew how to open it. It's probably um, obvious to you, but for me, I had to ask Stingy about it. Basically, all you need to do is pop this rubber cover here and you pop it. Then you have like four to six screws to unscrew. Like anything, when you open things with FPV, just be careful when you open it. And then the changing is uh, very, very easy. It's a matter of unscrewing a few things, screwing more and other things, swapping one metal part, and you have changed the mode of your controller. Who fries mode one, you're gonna say? <laughs> but um, I had to do it because that's, you know, how I learned first. About the switches. So you have like two big clicking switches on the side here. You have flicking one here as well with three position switches. And you also have clicking ones, very small ones at the back. I personally use one big one of the clicking ones to arm. And I use one uh, of the three position one for turtle mode. That's it. <laughs> That's pretty much all I need. I'm very simple. You probably know that uh, you can charge it with USB-C here. Um, you also have a audio uh, output just above these two. You have the um, turning on button. Then you have three very common sense um, button on the side here. Uh, menu one to access the menu. Um, pages to navigate and then uh, exit button and this side you have like a little wheel and it's also clickable when you want to confirm your options. The main specifications that were important to me was a lower latency. In the past I've flown a fast sky protocol then I switched to you know the first um, crossfire protocol and for me it was like a big change in my flying. Once again with the new crossfire shot protocol I feel like it's next level so I felt like I was even more connected and I wonder how much you know this thing is gonna is gonna improve in the future because I feel like th this link at the moment that I have now with my drone is very instant. I don't do long range but I know I could go up to 30 kilometers with it. The middle range so I go a bit further than what you would get with let's say the old FR Sky protocol that I had when I started and I fly in sometimes busy environments so it sort of feel you know safe. The final thing that I liked is um, it comes with whole gimbal sensor uh, in my old controller. I had to change the gimbals when I wanted to have the sensor the whole sensor once so um, that's for me it was fitting all the criteria when i received it i was like this is so good because this is all i need so that's pretty much for the specs you know uh, at least the ones that matter to me as a feedback like a user feedback um, i was quite surprised of course when i received it you know about the, the size <laughs> compared to like a standard small you know iphone so that's that's not big right that's not what we used to but as soon as i started using it uh, even putting aside the latency and the performance of the controller, fitting in my hand the, the lightweight is just, for me, it's good. For reference, I had like a X90 special edition Trannis just before with a big crossfire module at the back and an antenna you would screw on. So I had like either, you know, diamond antenna or immortal T. I broke some, like I drove over some by forgetting them on the field. I lost some. I broke switches, that's how, you know, clumsy and messy I am. 
this controller so far, I am careful with it, but I feel like it's going to be super hard for me to break anything. So this is also a big plus for me. And the fact that, you know, I can, I can just put it, I'm going to show you, in my FX bag <clears throat> next to my Fat Shark pouch, you know, just like this. And then I just zip it. And, and that's pretty much all I have in my bag after that, you know, my FPV bag is not great. So the size, the weight of this for me was also a plus. That's, I think I did more than three minutes. I'm sorry, but that's, that's my, um, that's my view on it. I was not disappointed. I was really not disappointed because this week I sold my old controller to someone. So now this is, this has become my, uh, my go-to controller at the moment. And I'm, I'm glad TBS made that happen this year. So I would like to know if you like, you know, the same things about um, this as I do, or if you have a complete opposite opinion, if you like it, but you think a few things could be improved um, or changed. If you have customized yours, I know that, you know, you can put like nice um, stickers or skins on it. I really want to find one that I like. I actually have changed one thing on it. It was a gift from Snake FPV who um, wanted to help me change my uh, stick ends. The grip is nicer on them and they're just like, you know, nice quality, nice height at the same time. So I just, you know, changed the stick end to um, what I've been gifted. That's it for today. I um, tried this new format of everything I can say about insert topic title in three minutes because sometimes I want to talk about something, have your feedback, and I never really know how to bring it up in a video that would be too long or boring or, you know, not efficient enough. And I think I might do it again in the future, not always about products, because my channel is not really a product review, but about FPV topics that sometimes we don't take time to talk about. I think it would be good to do it again with you guys. All right, so thanks for watching today. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, I'm also, you know, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And I hope you stay safe. If it's getting better in your country at the moment, that's great. If it's still a bit slow, just be patient. Everything is going to be all right. I wish you happy indoor flying um, or simulator flying. And uh, I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.